if it had not been football, you would have done another thing. It's true. Uh, I think uh, I should have been a rapper. So why football? What made from, you start? From from where I from where I was born and more from where I grew up, it's either you you are a footballer or you are a rapper. Mm. I remember one time they caught him in TV in my street, and then this guy I know, you know, one of the well-known like baller in our mm. area, and he's stealing. So mm. that's where my dad like, no way, you're not gonna play football. You have to for that education. Everybody. everybody good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching us this is holaye i want to welcome us again to slum to stardom the only place where we talk about grassroots football our challenges what has we, what are the things that we have been doing the wrong way what are the things we can do the right way it's so good to have you here i want to appreciate everybody that has been part of this edition that has been supporting us subscribing to our channel thank you so much we appreciate it last time we had uh, uh a super eagles international nosa igebo join us for, for this session and today we have uh, another wonderful person i'll keep him uh, uh I'll, I'll keep it to, to, to myself right now but i'm so glad to have choma join us again choma you're welcome again thank you so much Ola. how are you happy uh, have you been so happy to be here again for this session and thank you for all you do for football and thank you for you know bringing the big guys into what we're doing Ah, let's just say thanks. Thanks be to God. Has has been the new year. It's been great. I just was in the east and I had the opportunity to catch a few games. I had to watch Rangers FC play. That's the Enugu State uh, football team. Mm -hmm. uh, I also had to catch um, them play Gombe too. Gombe United. Yeah, you know they just opened their stadium for you know the um, how many times now they they had to redo it. Okay. And so they started again. They were playing in Oka. Okay. But now they are back. So, you know, I, I love to see football progress. Okay. And I also look forward to educating uh, football players and, you know, managers and admin more. Okay. It's, it's, it's a good one. Choma has been a big advocate for football education. Uh, she was here during our second episode and she talked a little bit about football education. Today we'll touch maybe a little bit more on, on it. Uh, well, on football education. I want to appreciate you also for what you have been doing. Uh, we hope that our players and the environment will get more educated about some important things that they need to know, especially the young ones, because we know Slum to Stardom is an avenue where we want to focus more on the grassroots. What are the things that our young ones does not know? What are the things they need to get yeah. themselves acquainted with? Mm -hmm. Why they prefer for Stardom? So it's, it's, it's a good one to have Thank you, you so join us. Thank that. you so much. So we have our a very a big guest here. Uh, we have a, a wonderful man, uh, a wonderful football player, a family man. Uh, yes. he, when, when, when he told me that he would be coming, I saw it as a big challenge and an opportunity to support what we do here. And uh, we are so happy to have him. Ladies and gentlemen, with a rousing ovation, please can we welcome Super Eagles International, Brown, Mr. Brown. <laughs> <Ide>. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me. It's so good to have you here, sir. Same here. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. Pleasure. How have you been? Great. I think Happy New Year is in place, happy right? Happy New Year, yeah. Uh, happy ha New happy Year. 2024. Same to you. So how are you? How have, have you been? Perfect. A God, lot of God people has, been, God has been good. A lot of people have missed you. Wow. And they are seeing you for a very long time. You, you are somebody that loves keeping a low pro profile, right? A lot of people are saying, where is been, Brian? Brian I've been doing Brian? that since the start of my career. Oh, so, so sweet. So it's, it's good to have you join us. Yeah, same here. Thanks uh, for having me. It's so good to have you because it's love to start on is It's an avenue where we, we, we want to tell the world out there about the experiences that a lot of people had in the slum of Africa, especially in Nigeria, where we are right now, where they can tell their story to the upcoming generations, to be able to pick one or two things that they can learn from your story and from your experiences also, what they can see, how they can pick one or two things. This was what Brown went through. If he was able to go through this and achieve that, I can also go through that and 
achieve it. So Slum to Stardom is just an avenue where we trust to open it out there okay. and also tell our story from our own perspective, okay. not from another person's perspective. Like your story now, what we'll be asking you today is to share your story with us from your own perspective. Okay. What really happened behind the scenes <laughs> that we don't know? Because a lot of people that will say, ah, Ah, brown, brown is too, it's too cold. <laughs> I need him too. It's not, um, but well, this is an avenue where we want you to tell your story because we know a lot of things goes on behind the scene. Yeah, yeah. So right. we, we would love to hear it today. So thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. All right. So before we hit right into it, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have your comment as we move forward to it. Thank you so much. So we hit right into it, sir. Yeah. You're welcome once again. Thank you. So, so can we meet you, sir? Who is Brown? Uh, Brownie Day, father, uh, father of two boys, uh, a husband, and a very calm and easygoing person. That's true, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's, that's how I see life, calm and easygoing, mm. stress-free. Mm. Calm and easygoing. Yeah. That's how I can describe myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before we started um, the show, during the behind the scenes, you said some things that um, if it had not been if it had not been football, you would yeah. have done another thing. It's true. Uh, I love music so much. Okay. I think uh, I should have been a rapper. Jay Z kind I have, of. I have bars. I should. I should have. But you know, it's God that know why you know it, <laughs> like, put me through. You know, like allow me to go on the football route instead of the you know mm. um, the musician route. But mm, musician I'm route. still grateful that you know I end up being a footballer because without that, I don't think we'll be here today. I don't think I will have everything I have in my mm. in my life today. Love your family, nice friends. Um, I've been privileged to meet a lot of great people in this world, travel almost all over the world. Yeah. And um, yeah, I can I can't complain. Oh. I'm one of the the blessed ones on this earth. Oh. And yes, yes. every day I said thanks to God for that because football have shown me a lot of things I will be grateful for. Mm. And at the same time, a lot of things that made me sad too. So mm. I choose to grab the the happy ones. The happy and, ones um, yeah, that's how I live my life. Oh, so wonderful. So it takes wow. me to my first question for you. So why football? Um what made from, you start from from where I from where I was born and more from where I grew up, it's either you you are a footballer or you are a, I'm Robert. And where is that? Wow. At Jay Gule. Oh. Hmm. So you are in Lagos, so, born and bred. And, and, and one thing, one thing again is the ones that is playing football at the same time, they are robbing at night. Hmm. Oh, no. So you don't want your kids to be close to a footballer. Hmm. I remember one time they caught a, a thief in my street and then this guy ended up being, you know, one of the well-known you know, like Bola in our oh, area, oh, and he's, yeah. he's stealing. So oh. that's when my dad, like, no way, you're not going to play football. You have to further your education. So at that time, I'm, I'm not even thinking of any other thing apart from football. And I find it so hard to even think that I want to further my education. My oh. family don't even have the money to, you know, to give to me to further my education. Oh. Yeah. So it's either football or you end up dead on the street or you end up in prison so wow. you have to choose one of that three. Mm. so i choose football because that's the only way out out for, for you me. out of the yeah out yeah. of the slope yeah that's the only way out at first my family never they never supported me but i understood because you don't want your child to go through the route of what you just saw two days ago beating mm. up beating up of you know a well-known famous ball out of the street and oh. end up being a criminal so i understood everything and why still push further because that's what i want to i want to become oh. so how were you able to do it um did, did daddy later supported you my or? my it, it, they tend to give me that free hand after I, my dad passed away because oh. uh each time i go out to play as soon as i'm back i'll i'll have this massive 
group beating. Like group beating. They, they beat me from my mom to my sister to my brother. Oh. That's how you know. That's when how it is. Like they, you know, the way Were you the last child. Oh, yeah, I'm the last of seven. Yeah, I'm oh. the last of seven. Four boys, three girls. So all of them we gather around. It's and... not like gather, but it's like <laughs> ping pong beating. We call it wow. ping pong. It's like my mom will. So my sister, my here, sister will. From here. You know, then my brother will now round it up. So that's you know what I got every time I go. You know, like I went out for football. Coming back, it's always like that. But mm. I didn't. I didn't stop. I didn't stop. You get to a point that I have to like. Um, uh, we played a match like mm. my my childhood club, AJ Lichester, we called it AJ Lichester. We played a match and after the game, I did very well. So I was crying. <clears throat> so the coach came to me like, what's happening? Are you supposed to be happy? Are you okay? I'm like, coach, that's how they go out. So I beat, they will beat me. <laughs> and he was so sad. He's like, ah, this guy, okay, come, I will, I will, I will lead you home. So okay. he, he, he followed, you followed home. me home. My mom is already outside, pumped up and everything because I have a, I have rules in my like at seven before the sun goes down. Goes you have down, to you, be, you you have have to be home. home. In, in and that day we, we finished around six before we could get a cab or get, get a car to back to Ajegule. It's really late. So I was that was why I was crying. Okay. So um our coach now lead me home. Okay. And, you know, we get there. My mom was, you know, was all over the place. She was screaming and uh, oh, no. so the coach tried to calm her like mama don't worry he's with me he's safe i don't want him to play football i don't want him uh, talk 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 then uh my coach was like man don't worry she won't touch you <laughs> immediately my the coach, the left. coach left. I see, receive, I see, receive some <laughs> African parents. <laughs> <Some, laughs> <some, laughs> so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't stop. Uh, you know, uh, up to uh, when my dad passed. Okay. After my dad passed, we now um, had a family meeting. We always, I think every every, every family in Nigeria used to do that. Like yeah. general meeting after the house, after but, the you know, So we now had. A general meeting, and they were like, "Okay, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do?" Like asking everybody, and it got to my turn. I'm like, "I want to play football." Like, Come on, keep quiet. What football you want to play? Come on, you want to go to school? Nah, 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 nah. I was crying, but nobody wants to listen. Like, you gonna you go to further education? You are mm. not playing football. In fact, pack your bag. You are going to stay with your elder sister in Benin. Mm. That's how they they map out my future. Wow. You know. Then uh, one week after, packed my bag, went to Benin to stay with my elder sister, mm. the, the second born in Benin, hoping to write jam from jam, then got into university. university. As God may have it, she just pushed me aside. Like she didn't do, she didn't, she didn't do nothing. She like didn't she bother didn't, to put you for jam. She didn't thing, nothing. She didn't do. So I end up cleaning the house, taking the taking our kid to school, washing the clothes, washing his uh, housebound cars, and literally like I don't want to use the 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 word that no, yeah. So a you exactly, a I was I was doing all that for yeah. like six months, and um, sorry, and it gets to a point that. Oh. Um, I was I was really sad. Mm. Like I was really really sad. And when I have money, I'll <clears throat> I'll go and call my friend, mm. my very good friend. He date is mm. a goalkeeper. I'll go and call him. I'm like, what is happening? Like, oh, bro, we did, we are missing you a lot. Tell them you want to come back. We have to. We have this competition coming up in December. We normally play this uh, competition in Ajegule. Ajegule, yeah, competition. every December in Navy Barrack. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have this competition coming up. We don't have a striker. You have to come. Meanwhile, I'm talking to you. My face is like two of now, mm. like mm. fat and massy. My mm. face is, you know, like I don't even think I can even play football anymore. Okay. So then, um, during to cut the long story short, during during November period. I had a little misunderstanding with my sister and I said, look, I want to go back to Lagos. Mm. And she said, what? Why? Where you? I said, I want to go back. I cannot stay here anymore. And she said, yeah, but the, the, I already paid for your, for your, your jam and every lesson and everything. You know, it's coming up. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want, just allow me to go back to, mm. back to Lagos. 
called my mother. My mother was screaming on the phone. Ah, blah, blah, blah. So God touched my mother. My mother was like, let him come. Let him come and become the, 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 the bad boy life you want to live. Let him come back home. Mm. So that's how I packed my things. First week of that year, December, sorry, December. I packed my things. I came back, I came back, came to, back Lagos. to Lagos. Immediately I go back to Lagos, I dropped my bag. In. <laughs> then we are staying in Ikotu. Okay. My family have relocated from Ajegu to, okay. to Ikotu. Okay. So I, I dropped my bag in, mm. in, uh, in Ikotu with my mom. Okay. Pack some few things direct to direct to Ajegule. Okay. So I start training with this AJ Lichester of 18. Okay. Oh, welcome back. My I wish I have that picture of my first mm. training. Like my face was like I look like <laughs> I look like somebody who like a businessman, not not a football, but massive. Like I I like really, really massive. Mm. So they start working on, you know, working with me, making sure that I, you know, you, you trim get fit down again. and everything. Trim down, so yeah. I got me habit. I was I was back in shape. The mm. competition kickstarts. We end up, you know, winning the tournament and everything. And that's how I I end up not going back to Ikotu. I start mm. staying with Chima and two of his. Uh, of his friend in Ajegule. The Chima is the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper, yeah. Okay. He's still my very good friend. My, my brother. Mm. So we we end up staying in face my face you with uh we squat we squat literally with mm. you know some guys. So as long may have it, you get to a point they ask us to leave. They want to sell the property. Mm. That, uh, there's too much boys in there. We have four boys staying. They mm, that, state they know, like they want to sell it, but we don't know that they don't want to sell it. They just want to, yeah, they just want to dispose. because the boys, the boys are coming and everything, mm, so they are not comfortable. In. They're like, you guys should leave. So that's how I cried to the president of AJ Leicester. Like, I don't have where to stay, mm. and I, I still want to play football. So he's like, okay, I have a, I have a self, a I think two bedroom self contained in in Festac. Okay. Would you would you like to so come and stay to stay there? With him? No, it's empty. Whoa. There's no one there. Whoa. He bought it when he was, you know, when he just started making money. So he mm. bought it mm. and he just left it. It was mm. furnished and everything. Okay. I think there is just his getaway house. You know, you don't okay. normally there is everything fully furnished. Mm. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't mind. Mm. I will stay there. Okay. So that's how he said, okay, come to Lekki. Then he was living like say, come to, you know, come to Lekki, I'll give you the key. We'll go together and I'll show you the place. So that's how. I end up in yeah, Festa yeah, in his house. Okay. So once in a while, his name is Eric Fe. Mm. So he would take me in his car, take me to his house, open his wardrobe, take what you want. Then I was already a a a cre- like a well-known player. Like everywhere in Ajegule, they know that you know this guy is a very good player and everything. So that's how this guy become my father. Mm. You know, like give me and as God luck may have it, I have the same. We have the same size, like 45, 45. Then I have very massive feet. So I mm. we, we use the same shoes and everything. So he gave me everything, clothes, shoes, jeans. Like you have to start dressing like that. What he told me, you have to start dressing like a pro because soon mm. you, you will become pro. So from now, wow. start, you know, dress. So that's where I got my fashion sense from. I've been, oh. I've been stylish since before the money came. Like, mm. before, I've been, <laughs> no, really, I've been, I've been, it's not about, uh, the like, fame I ha- no, I've been, I've been stylish before I start you know, making money in football. Like, mm. I, I can put on things, I can combine colors and everything mm. because I learned that from him mm. because his, his wardrobe is tough, tough. like, his, his shoes, Pants and everything was sharp, mm. so that's how, where I got my fashion style, my fashion sense from. So uh, I end up in his house in mm. Festac. Okay. End up there, and um, you know, he, he just put food stuff in the house, so we mm. don't like anything. We we I eat steady after training. I go back home. Food is there. There's light, constant light, and everything. So everything was going well. Up to when I um, went to training one day, like a friendly game, I did very well. Mm. And there's this agent called Yomi Ishikure. Okay. One of the big, then it was one of the big agents in, in Ajegule. Mm, Everybody Ajegule. wanted to sign with him. With him, He was the one who owns uh, Aila Yusuf. Aila Yusuf, okay. Yeah, he was about I think, three to four players. And then mm. Aila was in Dynamo Kiev in Ukraine. Mm. So after the game, he came to me where I was sitting, drinking water. He came to me and said, Eshin, 
He won't travel out. Mm. That's how I use it. He won't travel out. Mm. I look at him, I'm like, bro, I don't know you. He's like, this is my number. Call me. That's that's how that's, that's the first time. that's the first time I spoke to him. That's okay. I went back home. Meanwhile, I was staying in, in the house Dawn gave me. I'm like, can I just call this guy? Okay, let me just call him. Call I give him a call. He said, Oh, I see. You want to be a you want to be a great football player. You want to be known all over the world. I'm like, bro, that's what yeah. I'm here for. Like, that's the goal. I, yes, that's the goal. I want to be yeah. that person that you you know you see in me. I want to be more than that. He said, okay, uh, tomorrow pack your bag. You are going to uh, you are going to Ocean Boys in Baeza. Mm, just so, like so, that. Just like that. I'm like, so is that was guy, what gave back to Ocean is Boys. It, is this guy is this guy real? Like, it's like. Pack your bag tomorrow, seven o'clock. I'm coming to send me your, your address. I'm coming to you. Then I then the phone that I'm using was bought for me by Don. By Don. Don was my the, father. Yeah. Like, yeah. So pack your bag, seven o'clock. I'll be in, I'll be in your place. I'm taking you to the my two park. You are going to Baesa. I was scared. I was sweating. I'm like, wow, what am I gonna tell Don? Like another agent came to people. Mm. I called my brother. I'm like, look who. This was happening. What, what am I going to do? He's like, uh, I think you should go. Mm. So one man just said, look, go. So I called him. I'm like, okay, I'll be ready. I didn't tell them. The next morning, Yomi came, took me in his, in his car straight to the park. From the park, I find myself in the, in the bus. <laughs> I'm in Baeza. <sighs> the next morning, Don did not, uh, did not find me in training. Don called my number. I saw it. My heart was pounding. What am I going to say to this guy? I didn't pick it. For over two, two to three months, I didn't speak to Don because I don't know what am I going to say to him. Oh. Meanwhile, the story I've spread that they Brown have signed, I've signed for, for Ocean Boys. boys. Oh, no. Don't have been calling my number. Yomi, Yomi called me. Change your number. Change your number. <laughs> this guy, this guy don't just want to keep you like a pet. He don't want you to. Meanwhile, I don't know that Yomi... I've had a meeting with Don and Don refused to give to give him to, to give me to him. To him. You understand? So that was later I now heard about it. So that's how I find myself in at, at Ocean, Boys. Ocean Boys. Did very well. From there, find myself in um they are inviting me to under 20. So under 20 you went from to under 20, home. I went to home base to buy goods. From there, things just happened so so fast. So before we move to it, it has been a wonderful story. Yeah. Before we move to Ocean Boys and Under 20, where was your mom in all, in all of this when you were at First Act? She was home in Ikotu and Does she and know North. that you were back in Lagos? She knows. I just told her that I'm I'm going to Ajegule. I, I used to go like I normally if we don't have games weekend, mm-hmm. I go home Sundays. Okay. Sunday morning, okay. I go home. I leave Sunday evening because I have training Monday. Okay. Monday morning. So that's how I normally show up. I stay at Jigule from Monday to Sunday morning. Then I go home in the court. So I spend some time with her. Then I leave around five, six. Okay. When I, when I know that church people have, you know, they cleared are the road. They you know, are, I'll just, are... you know, I'll, I'll leave. Oh, wonderful one. Wonderful yeah. one. Uh, so how did you manage Don eventually? Uh, he was, he was crazy. Like he, he got, he got really upset. Sure. Uh, it got to a point. Yomi, Yomi was like, talk, "You have to talk to him." I couldn't. I couldn't. You know, Summon courage. I, I, I couldn't because I knew that what I did is very bad. Like mm. I couldn't face it. But um, it got to a point that uh, we had. I think when I was, I came to the camp. I think it was U twenty three on base. Oh, on base. So it I was... came. I think we we had a camp in Lagos or somewhere. I think he came, and that was how we met. And he's like, "Yeah, you are my son." And if this is the route you, you want to take, you want to take, I'm solidly behind you. But mm. you have to say to Yomi to pay me my dues. Mm. Mm. That's what he said. I said, okay, you're gonna, I'm gonna make sure that he, that that, got, that, that, that does it. that. Okay, I'm sweet. gonna make sure you got it. So that relationship just, you know, was able to you able to manage it. manage it. So did so, Yomi pay him eventually? Some, not uh, not all. But like my move, my move from the my big move from from, uh, from Motion Boys to, no, to, to from Motion Boys was everybody ate from Motion Boys. For Motion Boys to Switzerland, it was it was by God's grace. 
I mm. wouldn't have made. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have even made that. Was it Yomi too? It was Yomi, but it was God, not you, not Yomi, okay. because. I'm coming to that story because hey, before we go there, no, let yeah. us leave it. It was, it was, it was, it was God, not okay. Yomi. Mm. It was because it was, it was my a... time. Okay, okay. Let's just let's just cap it up at that place. It was God. So I yeah. think let's just move to the next. Let's, let's, say, let's yeah. just move to the next segment. Yeah. I think Chum has a question for you. Sure. In relation to grassroots and what we have we have been doing, Chum, over to you. Okay, so because we have been looking at age in the grassroots, the place okay. of age in the grassroots. I mean, it's become a national security matter. Okay. You know, people, everybody's raving about it. How can we make sure that footballers stick to the real age plan? In relation to the age that you traveled with? Yes. To your time. How, your how, time. how were you able to maneuver? It was, it was easy for me at that time because all the, all my age mates, like I, I played during that time. Mm. We all have maybe the age gap is not much, like a one year difference. Six months. Yeah, yeah, difference. It's not it's yeah. not much. Mm -hmm. And the good thing that happened during that my time with in AJ Lichester was we are playing tournaments constantly. Like every six months, there's always a tournament. Mm -hmm. Six months, six months. So and that tournament, you have to submit your papers. Mm. So you can't have Certification of age, or you something. understand. You can't have sixteen last mm. year, and this year, this the next tournament, you are fifteen or you, you are yeah, fourteen. Yeah, you understand. So it, it it went up gradually. Mm. So it's for me. I think catch them young from secondary school. If you see that, if you saw that, no, this, that that helped you. That helped because you started because early. in my second year. In my secondary school, I was a bowler. Like. I literally, if it's not football, it's nothing. I'm, I was good in every sport, mm. but football was, was, was it. Was it yeah, to... football was it. But in relation to our question now, age yeah. in Africa as, what as, how can we solve something? We, we know it's a bring challenge for No, us. it bring challenge, but like, like, just like I said, mm. like, if they start earlier, mm. they can really manage the age and control it. Mm. Because you can, you can say like, if a very good 20 years old player, okay. let me put it that way, if very okay. good 20 years old player and he's already 20 and he's still in Nigeria and he's very good, he has not even signed a team in Europe yeah. and you want to market that player okay. to, to, to let's say, a team in, in Ukraine or in Switzerland or, or France, okay. most teams abroad, they want players from, uh, from 17, 18, 19. Mm. From 20 years, they, they, they see it like, ah, it's too... Yeah. Mm. You know, it's too late for this guy. What most people do, what most people work with, they go and work the passport to make sure that they reduce mm. the age. But for me, I feel like that player should make that make that move, make, make that move. and just if your age is twenty, just just go and play, and maybe you might got the deal instead of trying to you know you know control the age and try to go and you know like a lot of people a lot of african footballers mm. some of them are not true to their age why because they start very very late hmm. hmm. you know there's something he said that okay. i actually want to highlight on he talked about proper documentation okay you know apart from it being his time yeah and he's, he mentioned you know they were playing tournaments so what happened to that body that made sure that they were documenting these boys that's uh, that's where I, that's what I wanted to ask you. Because so that was so beautiful. That would have made everything easy easier. For yeah. So why why is it hard for us in Africa to be able to keep this documentation? Do we we fail to we we just we just fail to do the right thing. We always like to cut corners. Ah. We don't want to. We we don't want to. If it would take us three years to get to this world, mm. somebody can be like, how can I? Spend so long. Years. Can't I just go from here and get to there in, in two years or in one year? But that thing that you learn on that your path mm. to that to where you are going in three years, you will not learn until you pass through yeah. the, the court experience. Yeah. One year. So yeah. that's just the truth. With, in Africa, you know mm. how many football academy is it in, in Europe? Every club in Europe they have football academy from from I think 10, 15. Okay. I think 17. Okay. So they start their document documentation mm. from 10 years old. 
Yeah. They have their document. Like this guy is a, a 10 years old. He joined us at the age of nine or the age of eight or at the age of 10. Mm. Yeah. From there, he he will now graduate to a 15, from 15 to 17 or 18 before they can check if he's really good, before they can draft him to the first team. Arsenal do that. Madrid do that. All these big teams, that's what they do. Yeah. Okay, but the big teams do that. So are we saying this falls on our federation it is. For, to keep these data to monitors to, for to me, monitor this for me I'll the say, various academics yes. in Af- Africa. For me, I would say 100%. Do you know why I said, why I would, you know, go with what you said? Mm. Because how many competitions are we, are there organizing in a year? Mm. Grassroots competition in a year in this Abuja mm. or in Lagos or in any other state in a year. Do you know how many Africa? Do you know how many? Let me know. Let me just know is what Africa. Let me Nigeria. Do you know how many very talented players we have in Nigeria? And they are just there. Like hmm. we don't have a very good export uh, uh, way to market them, channel to to to, to, to push them out. You understand? Because you have. I went to watch some. Uh, you know this league that they are playing. This uh, what do you call it? This league, the Abuja Elite League. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We are still I, coming I there. Saw, I saw. I saw. I saw talented players. Mm. And when I go through, when I went through the app, I checked their age. Mm. Those boys are supposed to be somewhere now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Some of them are 20, 19, 18, 17. They're supposed to be. In Europe. They are their ripe age now to exactly. move to to move out they're to play professional. Before they turn twenty, they're mm. supposed to be in Europe in one academy, grooming them to join the first team. Mm. At the age of twenty, and you are staying in Nigeria, my brother, you have to go and look for a job and do. <laughs> I think that it, it it now falls down to the where where we're actually going. When they now get to twenty, that's yeah. when a lot of them now falsify. Yeah. Because the opportunity may now come when, when they get to 22. So, I, and I know when I put 22 on my international passport, it. nobody sent me at that point. You. So, you have so to I go have and to reduce, reduce it again. Exactly. So, if they catch them young mm. from secondary school, they, play, they, they, they have to organize tournaments. Mm. I believe they have in Abuja, they have like tournaments that, you know, secondary schools that they, they organize have, for. They organize. If they can drop them from secondary school to an academy, they can monitor their age before they turn 20 or 19. Mm. You can already decide where you want to send them to. Mm. I can call somebody right now on my phone and put it on speaker. I ask him, I have one player that I want to send. I bet you the first thing he's going to say, how old is he? Mm. The second thing, the second thing he's going to say is, is he 18, 19? Mm. He will not say 20. You will not. 18, 19. That's you. That's the peak. That's the peak. That's that's, that's peak. when that's they where they are they best. Learn. That's at when they 20, learn. At 20, they expect you to know everything. They, no, know it's not twenty. Basics. No, but no coach can teach a 20 years old uh, boy how to give a 10 meters pass. Yeah. Because they believe that you should you should have you learned know, that in the academy. It's supposed to be what you have learned from from 15, 16, 17, mm. 18, latest 18. You you knows you know how to use your both feet. You mm. knows how to you know how to change side, how to block, how to scan. Mm. All those things you that's what you you know you're they already put in you. So mm. at twenty, you should be banging goals, man. You should be you should be you should be you should be like a magician in the pitch. Mm. You okay. understand? Mm. That's true. That's true. So um, it's so it's all boils down to the fact that. We don't collect da- data. From we don't the, have the right setup to yeah. collect these data. That's the, the right structure. Because one of the things that I, I know we took, talked about with Nosa the last time was, he's, he also said, said the structure is bad. Yeah. He even tried to stay. He said he's not going to talk about it that because structure is bad. Because we, we don't put in the efforts, just like you said, to do the right thing, to take our time. Yeah. A journey of a three years, we always want to cut corners. Yeah. Let's say uh, we don't have the time. And it to affects go us through. in future, and it always affect, and it's affecting it's a lot of our players. It's yeah. affecting us right right now. Yeah. Even right now, there was a session we had here that um, 
one one of the guests we had here said even the white guys that come in into Nigeria mm-hmm. to pick these guys already knows that so they can't get they, they, they can't get if they if you say this boy is 18 we, we know he's not 18, 18. Mm-hmm. so it's it just tells on how the world how they see us Africa not just now. Nigeria no I say in, in, yeah. in, in Africa the way the way they see yeah. us now just be that you can't you can't get a yeah. seventy-year-old cannot be a seventy-year-old in yeah. Africa. You know, to take us, you know, back a little, mm. just like what the what the uh, slump to stardom is all about. You know, football education, talking to the management, talking to NFF, telling them what they should be doing. I mean, yeah. I had read on the news that they were about sanctioning some some fake, in quote football academies that were not registered properly. Yeah, yeah. So that's a start. If they can do that, then it means we're working with something. I mean, yeah. if you sanction the people that are not going by the book, because mm-hmm. the problem we have is, I'm sorry, like, if, you're, if you don't know how to do something, you have to learn it. Yeah. That's the point of being a pro. You know, just like Mr. Brown, he has learned football. He knows what it's about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's in a better position to t- sell players, do whatever he wants, train them if he wants to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you see some people, they just set up, football academies and they don't do anything for the for money boys. yes they just sell them there's difference when you have an academy mm. to make money mm. yeah or when you have an academy to market mm. good players okay it's two it's two different mm. yes so when you have an academy to now, make money now mm. now in nigeria which which do we have is to make money sad it's to make it's to, it's to make money i'm telling you during my time they, they smack the they will smack the hell out of you if you said you want to be a footballer. I take my kids to training every Saturday mornings. I know how many parents grab their their son and their daughter by their hand and they will be crying. Come on, come, come on, come here, come on, go there and play. Project Mbappe. You get it. During my time, my father, my my father will not even try. Mm. To grab my hand and say, Go and play. Take, take, take it to play football. You might not even get the early money saved when you don't come out. Do. You understand? So now it's for the money. It's for the money. And they already map out their their plans, their all their their plans, what they're gonna achieve mm. on your head by sending <laughs> you to that academy. And 60% of those type of players never make it. Mm. Because it's not what they want to do. Exactly. It's not what they want to do. So to do. I think that's another point that, that you're making now. People that are involved in this, do they really want to do this? Because you can't get the best out of someone that you we are forcing. Yeah. Just like someone, just like a boy that you forced to to go for science for a science course in mm-hmm. secondary mm-hmm. school. Mm-hmm. Say, mommy, I, w- I, w- I want to be a lawyer. I say, no, no, yeah. you have to study biology chemistry. Yeah. You have to be a medical doctor. Yeah. You uh, w- over time you get to know that you won't get the best out of that boy yeah. if I just allowed him to just be himself, be where I think that's another thing that a lot of people are following the money. It's My, not that you you sabi play the ball. Mm-hmm. Nobody say you get passion safe, got the money, follow the money. Just like people will say, My follow son, the money. My <laughs> sorry to quote you. My son is fourteen, going to fifteen. Okay, he will be fifteen in in uh, in August. Okay. I had a heart to heart chat with him. Mm. After his training, I found out that mm, he's not putting himself the way I I was thinking he's gonna. You the know, zeal, like, the exactly. energy, he's not bringing it. So I said, okay. After training in the car, normally, normally, ah, oh, he speaks. I didn't say anything. I kept quiet. We go home. I called him to his room. I said, sit down. I said, I asked him two questions. Do you want to play football? Mm. He said yes. Because he knew when I'm serious, he mm. can tell that this question, he <laughs> get, he get where my papa did. Like where our papa did exactly. that time. Uh, your I mama called you. I said, sit down. Sit down. I want to talk I to said, you. I said, sit down. I said, do you really want to play, play football? football? Yeah. He said, yes. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. I said, from today, I'm not your father. Think to say, I don't have anybody. Mm. to push me because that thing will help you. Mm. The day you start putting that thing on your head that my apana idea is brown. Mm. If I want to play for Madrid, it will take me to Madrid. <laughs> if I want to play, if I want to go European, it will take me go. That's the day your downfall will start. Mm. I said, during my time, 
I never have anybody to help me. Everything I have in this life today, you I have it. worked for You worked it. out for it. They, I don't, there's no shortcuts. I know how many times I went for trial, they told me that I'm not good enough. Yeah, not good they enough. told me that I'm too skinny. Oh. And I'm telling you to eat now. You're not eating. You're eating only sweet. You're not eating very right. You're not eating right. Twice I went to trial. They told me that I'm too skinny. Mm. I'm not good enough. They sent me back to Nigeria. Do you want to be like that? Mm. He said, no. I said, I'll leave the rest for you to answer. I left his room. Mm. The next week in training, I can see changes. <laughs> I think what you what you said now is is a big lesson, and you worked hard for it, yeah. which is a which is a good point to to pick up because for football and education yeah. because you you have, we have to train our kids in that way and every yes. academy has to be able to put up structures around around that. Uh, please, if you are just joining us, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We still have our wonderful brother friend here, Mr. Brown Day. It's so good to have you join us. Thank it has you been for a wonderful me. story that you have been sharing with us since we started. Thank you so much. Thanks and a lot. And I, I know a lot of uh, the younger generation that have listened to your story would have learned one or two things, how you were able to fight um, separation, rejection, and you made some mistakes. It's fine. It's, it's, it's also good because everybody must know that it was no rosy ultra. Yeah. You can make mistakes. Yeah. But how do you make up for your mixer? Which is the part of Dawn, the man you, you mentioned, which I really appreciate so much because yeah. we have to learn in the grassroots how to mend relationships. Yeah. Some players don't know how to mend relationships. Yes, you were playing in an uh, academy. Another one called you and just left. And what about those, those ones? So at yeah. least even if it's go back and mend, we know that the, the younger generation might not, you can make, but learn how to mend relationship, which is very important thing that I learned from your last session. So we just eat right into it, sir. How did you transition from Ocean Boys to Switzerland? Okay, so um, my got into Ocean Boys, I was, you know, I was one of the the best in the team. Mm. And, uh, yes, I saw that. Ocean Boys won the NPFL. Yes. 2006, 2007. Yes, but I was not, I was not there. With, okay, was, you were yeah, not, not there. Yeah, I was not on that, uh, on that team then. Mm. So, uh, I was playing league. I stayed, I stayed, I stayed, I think, uh, five months with them. Then I had an offer from Switzerland. Okay. So, uh, before then, I went twice for try. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't make it. Okay. I came back back to Ocean Boys. Then I had another offer to go to, to travel to Switzerland for, um, for a trial. Okay. I was a bit shaky. Like I've gone twice. Like, mm. you know, I've been turned down. What was the point of going this, this third one? You before? went to Switzerland? I went to, I went to, uh, to Amsterdam. To Amsterdam. Twice. Was he Yomi that took you? It was Yomi that connected with one, uh, Netherlands agent. Okay. They got me the trial. I went there. I played. They said I'm too skinny. That they need a chubby striker. Okay. Then from there, I went to another club, still in, in, Amsterdam. in Rotterdam. Okay, Rotterdam. They say the same thing. I'm not good enough. That they don't want me. That's how I went back to Nigeria, to Nigeria. back to Ocean Boys. Okay. Then I start training. I start playing. So, um, get to a point that you know, uh, this agent contacted Yomi and said, "Okay, we want Brady to come for a trial." Yomi told me, "I'm like, look, I'm not ready yet." Let me just, you know, settle down a bit. Yomi was insisting that I should go. So I'm like, okay, let me go. So they called us in the camp that we should come and receive our salary. They have not paid us for four months. So me and my friend, we jump in the bike, heading to the bank. That's where we had a massive uh, bike accident. The car came out from a T-junction, collided with us. I fell, he fell. I had a big cut under my knee deep court mm. that I felt like football is over for no, me. No, no, that was it. So uh, I saw my leg. I've already, visa, everything is ready. Mm. I was about to leave. I got that accident like uh, 2007. Okay. I'm supposed to travel, December 2007. I'm supposed to travel January, first week of January the next mm. year. So 
I got that cut on my leg. I stayed in the hotel. I uh, sorry in the in the hospital. My leg was hanging from the from the roof. Yeah. From the roof. I was there crying. Oh. My friends, my teammates, everybody were there crying with me and everything. Because the news was all over the place that oh I'm traveling soon. Oh. You know, like everybody was so emotional and everything. Oh. So uh time for me to travel. The club I've been contacting Yomi. Yomi, what's up now? Bring this player. And I went, Yomi, like, oh, he had a problem with his family. He had family issue, family issue. That's a great then, story. Yomi now, I asked Yomi, Yomi, come to Baeza. Okay. Yomi now came. Sat down with Yomi. Yomi sat, sat down close to my bedside. He was crying too. I'm like, oh, bro, no. you have to tell them that I'm injured. Oh. Just tell them the truth. Yomi said, I can't. He was crying seriously. I can't. I'm like, bro, tell them if it to be, to be. If oh. you don't, let's just, you know, even me, I'm crying. I'm talking to I'm like, just do it. Oh. Let's let this thing get out of my mind and let me just, mm. you know, if this is the end, let me face it. That's how Yomi pick up his phone. He called the agent there. The agent was like, oh my God, how serious it is. It's like, he can't, he can't make it. He can't even come to, he can't travel this January. We have to give him time. Maybe oh. it's, I'm, as I'm seeing this leg, I've spoken to the doctor. He said between five to six months. Oh. Because first, the stitches have to heal. Mm. Second, he has to learn how to walk before start to run. And so he needs at least six months. The agent like, wow. Okay, let me speak to the club. That's how the agent spoke with I was club. there. I was like, ah, there's no yeah, way. There's is, no way that yeah. I can travel like this. Mm. Then the agent called me back. I was not expecting good news. Mm. The agent said, they said he should come. But first, send a picture. I want to see the, the, his condition. Hmm. You mean like, put your leg down, put your leg down, put your leg down. Because they hang my leg. Put your leg down, put your leg down. Put my leg down. He took a picture he sent to, to the club. The club were like, okay, let him come, we'll treat him. Hmm? Oh, that was why you mentioned God the other time. Yeah. <laughs> let him come, we'll treat him. So me saying that my traveling to Europe hmm, is it's not by man. Hmm, it's God. It's God. Because where have you heard in this world that a club sign injury. They've yeah. not even yes. seen you play. No, I've, I've went, I went, I, they saw a clips. A, okay, there's, there's the clips. clips. So like they have video. Seen, yes, they have seen me play. Okay. That is, they're not physical, but they have seen my clips. Yo. So it's not, they have not seen me play physical, but mm -hmm. they have seen clips. So they're like, let him come. They said, the next day they sent my ticket. Wow. I'm telling you. The next that, day they sent my ticket. That was Switzerland. That was how I got my, Yo, my first day to Switzerland. That, that I traveled from Nigeria to Switzerland. to Switzerland. So I boarded a flight with flip-flop bandage on my on my leg. I could not walk very well, no crutches, I'm limping. In the flight, I have blood all over my 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 jean God. that I wore. My the blood was stick to my my uh, skin. my skin. Yeah. I have to call the air hostel. They so call the, I don't know how they do it. They call someone and they clean me before. Two hours again, my leg was dripping out water and everything. I could that flight was the most miserable and uncomfortable flight for, for me. you. I have pain, serious pain. Mm -hmm. They were giving me pills, but the pills is like nothing. I don't, yeah. I don't feel nothing. They say because we are <laughs> we're on air, so I don't feel anything. Mm. So uh I arrived in Switzerland, go to Switzerland. I'm not even settled. I feel like me getting there, them seeing the leg, they'll be like, oh no. Back to Nigeria, I was shaking. Go to Switzerland, car picked me from the airport straight to the hospital. Oh. Go, I go to the hospital, I met the doctor, the doctor of the team yeah. and the uh, team, the team doctor, director, okay, the director doctor. And, the, and the doctor of that yeah. hospital that I okay. went to. So the three of them were there, like, ah, oh, come, come, take me direct to the, to the room, like the, huh. check, the check room, like, oh, take off your clothes. Okay, let's see. Immediately the doctor saw my, my foot like this. He just, then I, I don't understand French. I don't know what they're speaking. Meanwhile, I'm like, I don't care. If you guys leave, uh, you know, you can't you can, sign me. Can. I go back to Nigeria. Oh. I have Ocean Boys. That was my hope. Oh. Like, I have Ocean Boys. And I have small 500,000 in my account. Small, 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 so small, 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 I'm very rich. <laughs> I bought a car, but then I'm like, oh, I'm what good. Driving? I was driving Infinity, okay. Nissan. So... Nice. I'm like, I'm good. You know, I'm, I have not even driven my car up to... A man of like, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> man of <there. laughs> I said, I'm good. So I was no, I was no worried. So the three of them left the room. Mm. So I'm chilling. I was just chilling. And um, the doctor came back and said, no problem, Brown. 
or take care of you. So it's little, it's little English, I understand. Mm. No problem, Brown. Doctor said it will take six months that mm. before you'll be back, but no rush, no rush. It was later I found out that the project with me was mm. not immediately. Mm. It was one year mm. after. Okay. They have uh, already strike any team and they want to they don't want to renew their contract they're like 20, they are like 30 34 35 so they want to do it with them so they want to rebuild so they the wanted new to team. groom you into the new so that was where I knew that that time that they took with me was meant to be mm. so that's how I find myself I see how now. God orchestrated um, yeah. the whole thing I now I understand why you why, why you said yeah. God so Just like what, what we've seen, I say miracle, no, the entire Jesus. This was we'll clap at this point. No, it's not, you, yeah. you yeah. hardly heard that the player travel, now, African player, not yeah. just a African player travel all the way from Africa yeah. to Europe that to sign. God. That's a wonderful story. That. Yeah. That's a, that's so I'm the, only, I'm the only African player that I've done that. Yeah. I think this is the first time so I heard that they will send for you. It's God. God will yeah. come and treat you there. It's God. It's God. It's, God. God. it's, a, it's a wonderful story. So what were the challenges you faced in you Bureau? It was tough. One or two. Just to tell us one or two things. Uh, language, food, language barrier, food. Yeah. And it was hard for me to blend with the, the, the way they because I wouldn't say blend with the way they play because every coach has his yeah, own style. tactic, you know. Yeah. But for me, the playing was not that difficult, but the way of life, the food, the communication, to understand the lifestyle was it would be difficult before I could blend. Mm. The weather. I saw it, everything. Weather too was not. The so. weather was is the snow always in Switzerland. In Switzerland. In my city, it was really heavy, not Zurich. Mm. Not Geneva, it was not Chatel. So it was like the close to the hills. So it's wow. not. Your best spell was in Ukraine. In all in all, as to, to date now, you have scored over 154 goals, I think. So I'm something. not, I don't even know. No, I keep running. We are the fans. <laughs> we are the ones that keep it. I don't, I, we keep, I don't, we keep, I don't we, keep we, score. We, we, no, we, no, we, we, I, I think with um, Ukraine, you scored over 34 goals. I think Ukraine and was was and Greece was, was where I, I, you are, I, where you went to Olympia. So what, what was the magic for, for you at, uh, at, at Ukraine? At Ukraine, that was my, we, we, we knew you. I like, did, I did very was, well. In, yeah. in, in, when I started playing in, in Switzerland, I did very well. Like, back to back, I was like, I was doing very well. And there's this lawyer that, that uh, the president of Ukraine, sorry, president of Dynamo Kiev sent mm. to come and see me personally, personally. So he came to me. After a game, he came directly to me and said, do you want to play Champions League? Mm. Do you want to have money and don't get worried about money in your life. Oh. I said, yes, 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 yes. He said, is my number coming? Mm. I look, I'm like, who is this guy, man? I go home, I told my wife, I'm like, this guy just gave me a card. He said, call, 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 call. So that night I called him. He's like, send me your location. I'll come to you. I'm just around the stadium. Send me your location. When I finish the meeting from in the stadium, I'll come to your place. I don't know that he already went to uh, management. So I've already laid my intention. offer down to them. So they are just waiting for me to decide. So he came to my house that night. He tabled everything to me and my wife. He said, look, you earn so, 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 so money. They are playing Champions League. If they don't play with Champions League, they are playing Europa Cup. Oh. Ukraine is a very good place. You have crazy bonus. You have, your, in fact, your life is settled <clears throat> for life. That's how he put it. He said, you are settled for life. I look my wife, I'm like, Babe, let's wait go. Till, wait no till we <laughs> the next day, I go to training. Uh, I had a meeting with the president. It's like a Ukraine team just sent, a, sent an offer and we're yeah. accepting it because it's far away from what you expect. What mm. you expected. I'm like, okay, talk to your agent to go and bid for you. Mm. That's how I call Yomi. Yomi fly down. Mm. Yomi was the guy that took me from. So you so stayed he, with he has, Yomi still. Yeah. He has always been at every yeah, but he, 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 he fucked up. That's why I said today we can't we can't uh, do everything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so, okay. so maybe Yomi came, <laughs> yes. came over yeah. and that's how they got the deal. I went to Dynamo Kiev. It was it was amazing. It was fireworks, amazing. I was doing very so well. So what happened? What was the 
ignition? What ignited that fire in, in at, at, at I was at, just. I think it was you just, just. I was on my peak. That I was enjoy. I was having fun. The money was coming crazy. Like crazy, so I said crazy. Nothing to worry about. The uh, money was coming uh, crazy. Peace, peace. peace. Mm. Madame was happy. Everything was mm, okay. You know, yeah. every three days there's game. You know, like I'm happy. I was just happy. Mm. Everything was was going well for mm. me at that time. Yeah. Up to when the they have this problem between Russia and Ukraine, and yeah. you know, uh, I said no. It's time for me to to leave. To leave. And if I'm leaving, I'm going to. To England, I'm not going. I want to play. I want to play. That's a right to play. I'm not going anywhere. Then I have this issue with the national team, and they drop me without knowing what's the reason why. Meanwhile, I knew why they dropped me, but we will not talk about that. Today. So, Chama, let's go there. We will not, talk about, we'll not we'll talk about. We not talk about that. But well, I knew. I knew why they dropped me. But we will not talk about that. That's how I fired Yomi. Okay, that was what happened. That That's time. what happened. So in the next session, we'll yeah. talk about more of that. But yeah. let's just talk about invitation to Afcon 2013. Okay. And the big boss. Okay. Yeah. So when I got my invitation, where were you when you, when you got the invitation? I think. Where were I you? Think I think I just. I think I was driving, and Ooh. Yomi Yomi called me and said, "Have you seen it?" I said, "What?" Said oh. the uh, uh, the list is out. I'm like. Where he said, okay, check complete spot. That's how I, I said, okay, I'm driving when I get to the spot. camp. Yeah. I go home, I check complete spot. That is complete spot, all Nigeria, all Nigerian soccer, something like that. I can't okay. remember. That's what I normally check if I want to like, you know, okay. uh, check about football news. So then I go home, I oh. checked, I saw that the, the 27 or 28 man list was out and my oh. name was there. So and I called him, he said, don't worry. Mm. Forget about this, you know, these names. We are going, we are going to Afcon. Mm. So mm. that was it. He mm. came with a lovely haircut. My best haircut. That was the head, that was the worst haircut I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? What, you know, do you know, do you know, do you know how that, to that because there was no barber in camp. And then Meniki was the person who, who shaved my hair. Like there's really? no barber. They, exactly. There's no barber in, in South Africa. We couldn't, Keshi did not allow anyone to leave the camp. Mm. That's how, that's how, Tough. That yeah. was a gala style. Now. I said it yeah. was just hanging here. Yeah, yeah. that was gala. Like something golden. Yeah. I remember. So I was that was that was how I got my and my hair my hair grew really 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 fast like mm. really really fast and at that tournament I forgot to carry my clipper so I don't have clipper with me and most of the boys have well, have their clipper, clipper with them I'm like bro just I know shave all this my hair so like mm. I'm tired my I look really rough and every three days there's game I need mm. to you know look sharp. I'm like, bro, just give me this. You formed a bond with um, MNK. That was before the tournament. So, but it's, it's it works. really show. Yeah, it works. It was before the tournament. What's, yeah. what's, what's, what's special in people in between? Me and MNK was cool before the tournament. We were we cool when we came to camp. Mm -hmm. We just connect. Like, we just, it just happened. It's, it's like, Keshi would choose two different uh, teams. teams. To play. I would strike them, MNK would strike. Because we are, we are both playing the same position. Yeah. I would strike in this team, he will strike here and as he's scoring, I'm scoring. As he's doing his move, I'm doing something yes, more. So, he just, like, he, at first, it's like you're in competition mm. and Keshi has to go with the two of us because that was we're like, on he fire. Had to play the two of that us, was yeah. why he said, look, Brown, mm. he called me two, a night before the tournament. He called me to his room and said, look, after they have announced the needs and everything, he said, he said Brown, I like you very much. I like your style of play. But you guys, you and Meniki will be a perfect match. I know that your position is where Meniki is playing. And mm. I cannot bench you or bench him mm. because I need the both of you. Can you play from the right side? Mm, that was how I yeah. pushed you. You understand? Can you play from the right side? I'm like, coach, I've never played from, play from there. So I sacrifice my spot for a Meniki. Mm. And that's why, and I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not, I'm not bothered. For me, it's about the team. Yeah. As far as we had a good result, I'm good. And that's why you see that the bond was there, the complication mm. was there. The, you know, like we just we just clicked. Yeah. From the first game, huh? We're in training. Like sometimes I'll fake like I want to shoot. It's behind me. I'll just fake like I want to shoot. The pass me, I'll fake like I want to I'll just put my leg. It will score. Like 
I, I made it so easy for him. Mm. So easy for him. Because it, it was obvious. The synergy was obvious. In yeah. Nigeria, we were, we were watching it. We were ah, I mean, you can, you yeah, can we, have this uh, communication. The, the communication, that you have the for, communication for is there for before the tournament. That's why. Amenike was the was the Rashidi uh, Yakini. Yeah. You you are you are the Kaduwa called the cool calm. Yeah. I will set it up for you. I'll I'll, I'll find you spaces. Yeah. I'll be able to get you your spots. Put put in your spots. Yeah. yeah, you are right. So, what was the relationship like with uh, Keshi? It was good. It was really good. I never had any issue with Who is Keshi to you now? If I have to ask a pastor. <laughs> I asked the same, same thing with... Uh, uh, for me, for me, it's you? like... It's, uh, let me just use the word father. Mm. He knows how to handle issues. You can cry to him and he, he always have a way to handle issues. I spoke with uh, Nosatu. He said they were negative energy. Yeah. But how were you guys able to grow past that? Okay, let's fight for ourselves. Let's fight for the country. Let's just drop... Okay, I don't like like you. We have a job to be done. Oh, wait, what, Keshi, what, what, Ke, what? Uh, the big boss notice it mm -hmm. because he can tell as a father he can tell that there's Fiction. no something not not right. So oh, he right. called he called the 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 big players in the camp. I mm -hmm. was um, I was not there. Mm -hmm. It was Vincent, Yobo, Emenike, about four or five of them. Mm -hmm. So that's how they he said to the case. Yes, said yeah, to the that's how that's how he said to it. But still, it's not like 100% settled, but he just, you know, let us understand that, you know, we are in camp and we're supposed to be one. We're not supposed to be fighting each other. We're supposed to be fighting against, you know. So everything uh, centered around Stephen Keshi. Yeah, it was, it was the fire extinguisher, mm. nice. you know, to the team. There was this story that was flying around that um, before the Ivory Coast game, that's something somebody somebody bought tickets somebody did something yeah. something is it the, true? Yeah, they they came room by room asking for a return ticket. That uh, we have to tell them where we are going. If you are going to Nigeria or going back to our club, and we rejected, we we're like, let's finish the game. You can't. Why? I don't know. The person that came said that it's order from above. So oh, okay. we, don't, we don't know. We don't know <laughs> who. We don't know who. We just said we are not going. Let's finish the game. After the game, you can so come back. So are you trying to say the, the governing body Nobody didn't knows. believe in you, you guys? Have confidence. Didn't have confidence. I didn't blame them because we didn't really uh, start up well. Okay. You know, yeah, to draw you to and, draw and uh, yeah, so I, they felt like meeting Ivory Coast was that was, was it. Tough yeah, that right. was it. Like there's no way this team can beat Ivory Coast. Yeah. So I understood where they are coming from, but that was really not cool for them to do. They should have waited for us to play the game. To and, play the game. Yeah. But from your perspective, as one of the people that played that game, you beat the great DJ Drop. Well, I would say I, I would say I would say thank you to them because that motivated us. So right. So that was the motivation. Yeah. yeah. Hey. That was the, because that was the big motivation for us because you, you guys because we had out. we had we had a meeting that night and we're like we are even ready for them to play the match at night. Mm. Like that's how you know ready we are. Motivated you. Yeah, we, we are we are so upset and we just want to get you know. Get it done, and mm. you know. Let's mm. see what. Final quick question on Af Afcon 2013. There was this news that was also going around that I think DJ Drogba, we had DJ Drogba or yeah. Yaya Tri came to DJ. the dressing room yeah, DJ. to address you guys. What was it all about? Yeah, he just greeted everyone. Then he said, you know, oh, we have a very good team there, but he, they are going to win today. Then we just he said laughed. they are good to win. <laughs> win. Yeah, we there. We now laugh. He now said, Drogba. okay. He now said, all the best. We'll okay. see later. So after the game, he came back. It's like congratulations that you guys will be the champion. That we should just you know mm. go and grab it, and that's all it is. Wonder, wonder, wow. wonder, wonderful story. Yeah. Wonder, wonderful story. Ah, uh, so wow, wow. Any more question on Af Afcon from from your hand? You know how, like, I feel everybody would be itching to do the connection from mm. 2013 down to 2024. Yeah. I, I don't know if, because we, we Nigerians would actually want a repeat of what happened. Yeah. I, mean, I too, I, I, I want to see that. Starving. Yeah. But I, do you I think will... it's possible? Can we have re repeat of what you guys did for us then? Warning to, 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 in 2024? In 2020... Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I can't, like I can't really, I can't really say. Because there's, I don't know really. It's hard to say. I won't lie to you. I don't. I can't say yes. I can't say no because they might come up with 
someone and we just change the whole national team and you know I don't know. Do you believe in in this our current coach Pizarro? With his present with his present results, mm. I would say no. Our cup of players players right now. Compare them to I had a I had a story. Yeah. Nosa Igebo said, if they bring you guys yeah. and this current 2024 20, guys, that you guys will beat them like crazy. For sure. You know, you know, you know the truth. You know we'll be there. Hmm. That's even, 100%. Even with, it's, uh, not, it's, not, it's not bad. You can't bargain it. We'll be there. So what's, what's the difference? What's, what made this, this the what difference? Is, the difference, is, the difference is, is we play for ourselves and we play for the, the team and we play for the country. It's mm. three parts. Play for yourself, for yourself. Yeah. For the team and yeah. for the country. Yeah. Mm. That's that's. That's a bad is, one. Is, is difficult to beat a team like that. Mm. If there is anyone that is slagging, you shout at him, mm. and at the same time you hug him and peck him. Mm. You see, you see Place the difference. Of leadership. Who are the big heads there apart from Keshi that helped the team? Okay, we are from from we are from Gopo Siyama. Mm-hmm. On and off the pitch, he's always talking. He's vocal. We have Yobo on and off the pitch, he's vocal. always talking. Is vocal. And the thing that he told us that remains, that stays in our head is this is his last time that you're playing in the Nations Cup. He's playing in the in yeah. nation with Nigeria. That's with how Nigeria, you put it. Was, yeah, that's and true. After the Nations so, Cup, so up. send him to give him a send off. Mm. What we owe him is this trophy, mm. and that remains. That stays, stays in everybody's mind. That stays. Playing or not playing, he's always supporting us. He's always making sure that everybody's good. He's always settling, you know, things. Oh, boy, no, now nah, it's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay, you know. So, mm. really good leadership. Oh, wonderful story. Wonder, wonderful story. Yeah, I can tell that we had more leaders in 2013 than we have in 2024. I don't mm. know if I'm saying something wrong. Okay. Correct me. Yeah. Because the, yeah. yeah. the leadership head in 2013 was so obvious. But now we're wondering, you know, who is, who is, who is, who is the leader? leader? Who is talking? I Who's think that's here? that's 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 one of the yes, challenges we have. I, I see I see Vito Sime doing that. That should not be his role. Mm. He's not the oldest in the team. That should not be his role. He can he can talk, he can motivate, he can push the boys mm. as a team. Mm. Okay. You know, as a teammate, like, oh, come on, my boy, push. You know, but there should be one person in or out the pitch who is mm. doing that. That has the voice. Yes. yes. To move, to that move. everybody listens to. Oh, so what we can say is we we wish our boys the best 2024 because yes. now we really need a leader because uh, we we watched our first game and we everybody was expecting more. <laughs> Uh, boom, boom, <laughs> wish them all the best. Yeah. Now, permutation has yeah. started. As now, I saw a clip online of a popular comedian saying, Sabinus? if, um, if uh, by prayer we Sabinus? draw, mm. I think if by oh, prayer yeah. we withdraw Coco d'Ivoire, we cannot pray that Equatoria Guinea beats mm. Guinea yeah. Brazil. I think this has always been our story it's always, over always time. Like that. But, but, but the difference for you guys, just like you said, was you guys had the experience and the vocal you know how, voice that we, we knew how to manage pressure. Man, 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 man because pressure. We, start, we started just like just, just, just like this point first game yeah. we drew one yeah. one second game we drew yeah. one we drew one Zambia, Zambia, yeah. third game we we, we scored but not even a clear goal was a penalty, penalty. so that just put the, the, the a lot of that just put a lot of only, yes. like I have because okay oh. that's that's it it's over for them you know so oh. it they might draw against Ivory Coast and you know get the Result they needed against mm. uh, uh, Guinea Bissau, so you know, it's, it's too late you, to write them. Not, let's just see. Let's let, let's just see what. Let's see how. Let's what see how. miracle can yeah. come up with? Because yeah, we always say just, miracle, no day. You know they tire. So let's final just, quick just. question before we release you for today. What is Brian Day doing now? Nothing. Home, chilling with my family and eating. Last we heard, you were in Kuwait. Yeah. Are uh, you still there? No, I my contract have run out. Okay. So right now, um, me and my agents are looking for something nice, mm-hmm. something comfortable for me. I'm okay. not getting younger, so I don't need to go and be rowing everywhere for everybody. Well, they have not, to run for me. It's not <clears throat> injury. You're, you're not injured. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fit. I'm you're training. Fine. I'm training, getting okay. myself ready. Okay. I can ask him a question. Do okay. you have clubs that you're itching to get to? Mm. Uh, mind the Gulf region. I don't have a 
specific mm. club but yeah. yeah golf region do you want to give a name or you just want to no give no no just golf region okay, okay. Mm. Right. so tell us a, 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 about i heard you have a brand which yeah. you shared share with me tell us about um yeah the i have a, high big uh, brand yeah i have a clothing line but it's not a uh, launch yet i don't have a website yet okay. because i'm trying to work on it okay and uh, now we we give it to some of the big boutique in Abuja to to market. They like the brand and they want it, so we give it to them to market. Okay. And uh, that's how that's how we sell it for now. Oh. Till I get to open the site and you know a, sh I know a shop or online stuff, and that's it. Yeah. Okay, we wish you all the best on on that. Uh, on that yeah, uh, you want to say something? I want to actually say that I got that. Yeah. For free, it's not like you're free. Okay, but I'm just appreciating Mr. Brown. Okay, very welcome. Lovely attire. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, we, we saw it to you. <laughs> you it during our and I second went, you know, episode. I had to do a tiny photo shoot. Okay, yeah. sweet. Yeah, so it's lovely, it's comfortable. You mm. can wear it to the airport, wear it to the market, wear it to your dinner dates. Yeah. Mr. Brown, have you have a you paid this girl? Have you not paid this girl? Is the it is it is the right material? Is it texture? Is it yeah. brown that is you know? Yeah, that is, that is she love it, so yeah. she have she yeah, she's she's, she's legs, right. You know. oh. she's right. Show legs. I showed legs a lot. <laughs> It was so nice. <laughs> Mr. Brown, by the way. Yeah, about yeah, like <laughs> Can you look at our producer's face now? Oh, <laughs> See yeah. looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you saying? <laughs> so it's 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 been a it's it has been a wonderful time. Yeah, uh, thank thank, thank you me. so much for having us. So we'd love to have you again where we can extend more on this session because we yeah. know there are still some eating things with within these no, little, little no, things no, that you have said. <laughs> there are some uh, things that we didn't touch. Yeah, yeah there yeah. are some things we didn't touch. Yeah, 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 I think yeah. that's the right word. There are some yeah. things we didn't touch yeah. that we believe could add more voice yeah. and help this younger generation that are, that has that is watching you yeah. and that will still watch you. Yeah. Uh, which has been a because it has been a wonderful <clears throat> learning experience yeah. from rejection, how you were able to fight through it. Yeah. You were, you had this zeal, this passion for it. Yeah. And you went for it. Even when you thought it was over during the, the accident you had, yeah. uh, God stepped in. Yeah. And we've, we've always heard from the good book. They say you should walk and pray. You mm -hmm. don't walk. I think one of the things that supported your dream there was because was you, you, you've, yeah. you've worked for it. Yeah. Yeah, right. And we don't serve a bad God, a wicked yeah. God. He sees every effort that's, Every human puts in things and he knows how to reward. To reward also with yeah. prayers, also, also yeah. which which he helps. So any fine any final word uh, for the younger generation? Because oh, what do you think about what we do? Uh, do, do yeah, let me ask you. Slow, slow, uh, I think I think it's not think, it's great. It's great because um I've never shared this story. Mm. I've never shared my my story to any journalist, mm. and no one knows what I've been through in my entire okay, life or my yeah. career. No one knows. This is the first time I'm, you know, I'm coming out and saying this. You understand? Um, it's, it's good. You know, I think you should, you guys should bring more, you know, of people that really have, you know, things to, to, to say, to and to, you know, to share and to motivate people. Because a lot of people are really down and they need to hear things like this to make them believe that, you know, if this person can go through this and, you know, succeed, I, I too can really, you know, I, I can go, go yeah. through this also. So any final, any final word? Uh, I would just say, be yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, don't, don't try to, to copy paste. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the road looks really long, but it's just in your head that is long. Mm -hmm. It's just in your head that is long. Mm -hmm. And, Everything you have to achieve in this life, you have to work for it. There is no shortcut to success. Mm. Shortcuts in, just know that you're gonna have shortcut out. Mm. Mm. That's it. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Brown. Today we so much appreciate you joining us. Before we go, we have a short gift for you. I think Chow Shama will help help give you that. <laughs> yes. We have us long to start up with you. You can remove the shirt. <laughs> yes, yes, we can. We have a, a small gift for you, yeah. sir. Okay. okay. Just to say That's thank nice. you for coming. As thank you're a fashion icon, <laughs> we got your white that sparkles. That's good. Slump to stardom. 
Amazing. And we are saying thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure to be here and I enjoy every bit of it. Yeah, and the cat Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> I, mean, I don't I don't wear hat, but this one okay. I think I'll Ooh. have to, you know. You can see my hair is yes, 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 yes. It's going Thanks. out of out of range. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thanks Thank, a lot. So Thank you so, so, so much, sir. We you. appreciate your coming. Thanks we for having me. All the best. We hope to hear from you once again. Yeah. And we hope to see more of you, just like you said. A lot of people, a lot of your fans out there want to see. Where's Brown now? Brown just died. <laughs> we don't even see Brown. No. Even, where's your friend? Uh, quick, quick one. Where's where's Eminike? I don't know. The last time I spoke to him is in uh, Wiri, I think. That's been long. I think we want to see more of I'm this gonna, because I'm going to like, call him. I'm like call I told him to the, it's no, been long that we spoke. Yes. He's a busy man. I know he has stopped. He has yes. retired. So now he has, you know. He has a lot of stuff. He's a busy know. man. But I'll, 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 I'll give him a call today. Yeah, reminded. I plan to call him this week anyway. So I'll, I'll just like I told them, you no, know, sir, you guys are our heroes. We respect you guys so much, yeah. despite the negative energy within the camp. But you guys yeah. fought for it. You fought for the team. You fought for yourself, and you fought for the country. Now we can proudly say, a lot of these new new guys out there can say, I've seen us leave Africa and Yeah, yeah a lot true. of the new guys, a lot of the Gen, Gen Z, because of what you you guys did for us. So we want to really appreciate you. Thank you so so much, sir. Thanks for having me. Any final Pleasure. word from Choma? Well, I'm just excited. Um, it's always a, an honor to sit next to Mr. Brown. I think this is the second time I'm standing next to him. The first time, you know, it blew up in a very beautiful way. How? <laughs> I, I, I started getting some impressions I've never gotten before. Oh, okay. Yeah, at the Abu Dhabi League, you mm -hmm. know. So okay. people were, I guess, his fans. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. guessing his fans were happy. Like, ooh, everybody, they were clicking. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bro, bro, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's very exciting. And it's always very educated to sit next to him. Every time he talks, mm. I have to pause and, and listen and, you know. And be able to pick. Add to what I think I know. So okay. thank you, Mr. Brown, for always gracing, you know. Every event oh. is very difficult to get, you know, people out to yeah. believe in what people are doing. But you it's always, true. you're there, you show up. Oh. It has a lot to say about your personality. Thank, thank you. You. you have a very, very good much. energy. Now I'm talking like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Thanks Rodney. for having me. All right. Thank you so much, everybody that has joined us for this episode. We want to say we love you. Keep subscribing. Please like, comment. We want to hear your comments want to see more of you and keep sharing to your friends a lot of your friends that you know know somebody that knows somebody that knows mr brown <laughs> that you want them to see this to hear about this please share share to them thank you so much from all of us as long to stardom eddie is backstage we love you eddie <laughs> thank you so much mr yemi is backstage love you, we love you so much love you, from all of us as long to stardom we we'll see you next time bye bye Everybody.